Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Tamar and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a simple banner for your YouTube channel. So if you've seen my previous videos, I always tell you that you need a good banner for your YouTube channel to make it look better and make it look a lot more professional. So in this video I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to create one, but it's actually gonna be pretty simple since this video is more like it goes into the details about how banners work and the dimensions and you know, a bit more in into detail than just designing them. So if you want to learn all about banners in YouTube then this video is right for you so as you can see here I'm using the same software I did in my press video which is called pixel R and this is basically something like Photoshop but on the web so you don't have to download it and also the best part is that it's free so I will leave the link down in the description below for this website so you can just go ahead and click that link and you will get right to this page now as you can see here you have two options, uh, in this video we're gonna choose the playful X. So you just wanna go ahead and click on this button here and then you will be taken to this page. So you want to create a new one. So you click on create new and banners on YouTube are the dimensions of two, 2560 by 1440. So you want to select this one, you, this is very important, you have to select this option. And you can name this whatever you want, I can just type banner and make sure it's uh, 2560 by 1440 and then you want to click on create. Once you have clicked on that you'll see that uh, there is an empty document here and the absolute first thing we want to do is grab the template for the banner. So I'm going to leave this link down in the description below but so all you have to do is copy the link in the description which is called banner template and then you want to go back into PixelR and you want to click on this little image button down here and then you want to click on URL. So click on URL and then what you want to do is paste in the link in here by right clicking on it and click on paste. And and this is basically the link URL to that image. So go ahead and do that and then you want to click on load and you'll see that you have either option to create a new document or add it to the current one and obviously you want to create an add current and it will get imported right into here. So as you can see here it says desktop minimum mobile. This right here is what everyone will see on mobile. They won't be able to see anything else than this little you know gray box here. So it's very important that you fit every single element that you want in your banner inside this uh, this box here. Uh, as you can see here it says tablet. This is for tablets like iPads. They can see a little bit more uh, but usually you want to leave this empty or you know just with the background no, no text or no, nothing since you want to uh, make sure that everyone sees your entire banner so this space right here is the safe area that you want to work with and lastly it's desktop max which uh, shows the entire uh, page here but obviously as I said you want to only work with this uh, safe area inside here so the first thing we want to do is import the background for the banner so you can choose whatever background you want. I have one already, uh, just a purple uh, background that I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna do the same here by clicking URL um, or image and then URL. And then I'm gonna paste in the image URL here and load. So as you can see here, you have the same options. I'm gonna obviously click on add current. And then you see that the, um, the background gets right important here. Uh, I'm gonna scale this up so that it fits perfectly since we want this to you know cover the entire banner and once we're here uh, to you know cut this out we want to click on these three dots up here and then you want to drag down the transparency to around 50 so you can see exactly through it so as you can see here we can see um, the uh, the safe area and everything and that's what we're gonna be using for cutting out the perfect uh, you know the part of the background so what we want to do now is go to the left side and you will see a tool called cutout. So click on cutout and then all you want to do just leave everything as it is. Then you want to select the part that you want to keep. So you want to select the entire part in here all the way from the desktop max to everything. And then you want to uh, let go of your mouse. So as you can see here it's cut everything out except for the part that you selected. So now you will see that this is your safe area and your background is currently on it. So that's the first step. The next step is to add your name. And the way to do that is that you want to click on the text on here. And then you want to click on add new text. And obviously this text will pop up here. Now this isn't a nice font to use. It's Arial. It's the default of every single software. So you want to obviously change this. Uh, I'm going to type my own name, which is Tamar. 
and then I want to change the font to something that I like. So you can just go through everything here, see if you find one that looks nice. This one looks quite nice, but not really. Uh, that's pretty good, you know. It's all personal preference, which one you think looks good. I'm going to probably be selecting... Yeah, I'm gonna be selecting this called Alvida. And obviously you can use your own fonts if you click on add local font and you can import an RTF file that you can use inside PixelR. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go with Alvida or whatever, however you pronounce that. So I'm gonna click on it and then the text is currently in that font. Now obviously this is way too small for a banner. So what you can do is that you can go to size here and then you can size it up to whatever size that you want to use. So I'm probably gonna stick around 238 and then you want to center it at the middle. So as you can see here, now it should be in the middle. Actually, it's far up a bit, so I'm just gonna move it down. Uh, or actually, that's just my eye tricking me. This is the middle. Uh, okay, let's just keep it like that. Um, now when that's done, uh, that's basically it since now you have your name and everything else is just personal preference so what we can do now is that maybe we want to add our Facebook or Twitter and how we do that is that we go to Google and we search up the let's say the Twitter logo and you want a PNG version of that so I'm just gonna search for Twitter PNG and then select uh, a random one here that you Think looks good. This is obviously not a PNG since it has to be transparent background. This is probably a PNG, I think. Actually, it's not. Let's see which one is. Okay, so this one is. So once you found a PNG, which will look something like this, it will be a darker transparent background once you click on it. So you want to right click on it and do the same here, copy image address, and then you want to go back to PixelR. You want to click on image and then URL, and then you want to import it to this uh, document here. So you want to paste it in here, do the same again, click on load and click on add current. And now you can see that the logo is inside PixelR. Now this is way too big, so I'm going to scale it down a bit, and then I'm going to place it at the side. So as I said, it's it's very important that you have all the elements with, within the safe area, since otherwise people on phone won't be able to see this, um, this Twitter icon here. So it's very important that you follow the, the safe area template. So that's it, I'm going to place it down here. So once you have your Twitter logo, you obviously want to add a text next to it, which says your Twitter uh, username. So I don't really have a Twitter from a YouTube channel, so I'm just going to make something up. Let's say TemRYT. And this font, it can be the same as your uh, you know, channel name font, or you can use another one. I'm probably going to use the same since it fits uh, good to my eyes. So I'm going to use the same font and I'm going to size it down a lot more. And then I'm going to place it right next to the Twitter logo. Just like this. Actually, the Twitter logo is a little too big. Just like that. And I'm going to put my, uh, my username to the next of it. And that's Twitter. Now, the next thing I want to do is to uh, use my Instagram logo as well. Or not Instagram logo. I mean, I'm going to use my Instagram name as well. So I'm going to search for Instagram PNG just like I did with Twitter, and I'm gonna select the one that's actually PNG. So I think this one is, yeah. As you can see here, it's dark around the edges, so I'm gonna go ahead and right click, and I'm gonna click on copy image address, and I'm gonna go back to PixelR and do the same thing again. So I'm gonna click on add image, go to URL, paste in the link, and then I'm gonna click on load. And I'm gonna click on add current, and now I have the logo here, so I'm gonna slice it down to about the same size as Twitter, the Twitter logo. So something like this, I think that's the same size. And then I'm gonna add my uh, username on Instagram. So I'm gonna use the same one, I'm gonna click add text, and it's the same font. I'm gonna say, actually it's the same size as well, so all I have to do is change the name, which will be the same, TamarYT, probably an at in the beginning, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna place it right next to the logo, and that's it. Now I have my Twitter and I have my Instagram and obviously you can add whatever social media you want. There is Facebook, there is a lot of different ones. I'm just gonna stick with these two and that's about it. Now everyone will be able to see, you know, people, even on people on phone will be able to see your Instagram, your Twitter and your name. And this is where you want to further develop your banners. So as I said, this is a very simple tutorial. It's all about how you use it. 
uh, how you use banners and how it works so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to apply it as well so you want to save this by clicking on save and then you want to click on PNG and then click on download and it's gonna download right onto your PC as you can see if I click on this you'll be able to see the image on my PC so don't worry about the gray area since these areas won't actually be seen on your YouTube page. I'm going to show you right now how it looks like. So if I apply the banner by clicking on this button up here and then click on select photo from your computer and selecting the image I just downloaded, you will see that it loads here and once it has loaded, you'll see that it looks perfectly. You see, uh, you can see the entire image here. But right here, uh, it looks like you want it to look like. You see mobile, you can barely see the Instagram, it's all perfect, but on desktop you can see everything else. And on TV you can see everything really, so you can make this black if you want to. I'm just gonna keep it as it is, and I'm gonna click on select. And as you can see, I just updated my banner. And that's about it, that's the basics uh, of how to use banners on YouTube. If this video helped you, then please leave a like down below and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.